uh, about bringing up Bill Clinton's $500,000 speech in Russia in 2010. That was at the same time that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton came down on the side of the Russians against sanctions over human rights uh, uh, issues. Well, I think we all complained many times about the Clinton Foundation and about Bill Clinton's speeches and about the possible conflicts of interest and, uh, you know, possible uh, bending of policy in that instance and in other instances. I don't know the details of exactly, you know, what Hillary Clinton did or didn't do on sanctions um, at that time. But, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm no defender of Hillary Clinton and of the Clinton's ethics in government. Okay, and let me let me ask you one more thing. I mean, th this is a story that uh, Jeffrey Lord wrote about at American Spectator uh, last week, the end of last week. He found an interview I did with Dick Morris last September. I mean, and, and, and the excuse on CNN from Anderson Cooper was, Dick Morris, that's your source. I want the Republicans to bring Dick Morris, put him under oath, and let him say, if he's going to repeat what he told me, yes, Bill Clinton ran Boris Yeltsin's re-election campaign on the phone with him, telling him what commercials to run. He, Dick Morris, had a pollster in, in, in Russia helping him out. I mean, you talk about interfering with elections. It puts to shame anything that Trump is accused of doing. So if, if, am, I, am I out of line or way in fantasy world to say, hey, Republicans, get Morris, let him testify to this and get it on the record? Well, it wasn't a big secret that I think we wanted Yeltsin to win in 1996, and it probably wasn't a big secret that Putin wanted Trump to win in 2016. I don't think it proves anything much one way or the other. The question is whether, you know, whether there was improper collusion as opposed to just rooting for someone else or sending over a political consultant who could help you. But speaking to you him know, on the phone and picking commercials and telling him what to say, those are the words from Morris describing what Bill Clinton fine. did. Yeah, that well, is. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's worse than what Trump well, is you know, accusing. I don't think, you know, I think Putin, I think you're being, I think you're going down a very bad path here. It's total moral equivalence. If there's one thing conservatives have done over the years is not make it equivalent when a democratic nation, when the U.S. gives advice to friends in a democratic election, or when a non-democratic uh, uh, nation interferes, hacks, steals emails. Did we steal emails in Russia and make them public? Uh, not that I know of. So let's not be so quick to make an equivalence between the behavior of the Russians and our own behavior. All right, but it just, uh, to me, speaks to the larger picture of trying to influence elections. It also speaks to Bill, to Barack Obama sending over uh, American taxpayer money to a, a, an Israeli uh, group to try to, uh, you know, undermine Benjamin Netanyahu. Again, it's not... Well, we denounced that. We denounced that at the time to the degree... Yeah, that yeah, I know that. But, yeah, I mean, the media yeah. doesn't bring it up anymore. It's as if it, well. it didn't, you know, never existed, if you want to talk about them. 